Today I'm going to show you how you can make this super compact infrared motion activated alarm. This device has around a 30 foot range, is very loud, only draws around 23 milliamps of current, and this can be secured anywhere you desire using a magnet as shown here, velcro strap, or double stick tape. Let's take a closer look. Got your PIR module right here. Piezo buzzer. There's the adjustments for the PIR module. On the back we have the magnet, 9 volt battery compartment, the screw in the back right over here at the bottom. And the on off switch is right here. Let me give you a quick demo showing how it works and then I'm going to show you what you need to make one of these. Okay to demonstrate I'm going to be using this storage building and at the very end of the hallway there's a purple door. I have the unit stuck to the center of that door. I'm going to be walking by right over here on the left going this way and you're going to see the alarm trigger. Here we go. Now besides a soldering iron, solder, wire cutters, flux, you're also going to need what's shown over here. I'm going to be gluing my piezo buzzer onto this plastic project box using silicone sealant. That's clear silicone sealant. I'm going to take the PIR module right here and it's also going to be glued using the clear silicone sealant. You do not have to use that. You can use E6000 adhesive available at craft stores. Works excellent and if you want you can use hot melt glue. I'm not a big fan of hot melt glue but if you want to use that you can. The piezo buzzer I picked up at Radio Shack. It's around 80 decibels. You do not have to get the exact same one that you see here. I'll be placing a link in the video description area to make it easy for you to get all the items you see here. You're going to save some money and you'll also be supporting my work on electronics and more. The PIR module right here used with Arduinos. On here you have three pins. One is a ground, one is an output pin, and one is a 5 volt pin. At the top, the one on the right, that is used to adjust the range at which this will trigger using infrared. And the potentiometer on the left is used to adjust how long the output pin triggers. And right here is a closer look at that module. And I also use the same module to light up some exterior lighting using a relay. And if you're interested, you can check out that video. It's right over here. Circle with the eye. You'll see the drop down menu and you can watch that video after watching this one. Plastic project box is designed to hold a 9 volt battery and it has a built in power switch. Because the piezo alarm cannot be driven directly off the out pin, the voltage is going to be very low as well as the current. We're going to have to amplify that and that's what this transistor is for. It's a 2N3904. You can use a BC547. There's no need to have a resistor on the base of the transistor coming off of the PIR module. The piezo buzzer is going to be operated using 9 volts directly from the battery and the module requires 5 volts. In order to power the module using 5 volts we're going to be using a simple Zener regulator circuit using a 200 ohm quarter watt resistor and a 5 volt Zener diode. This one here is a 1 watt diode. You can use a 500 milliwatt or a 1 watt. Now when you're going to secure this to an area where you want to have detection, I'm going to be using this magnet right here. Let me move these to the side. It's a ferrite magnet. I'm going to glue it to the back of this project box so I can stick it anywhere. You can use double stick tape, you can use velcro, or you can even use a velcro strap attached to the back of this to make it easy to secure to items that are not made of metal. Now let's take a look at the schematic. The schematic is very simple. 9 volt battery, positive negative, PIR module, plus 5 volt input is right here. There's your output pin in the center, and then the ground. Ground connects to battery negative. Battery negative goes all the way over to the emitter of the NPN transistor, 2N3904 or BC547. 
other NPN transistors will also work. As you can see, on the output of the PIR, we have the pin going directly into the base of the transistor. No resistor necessary, as mentioned earlier. The negative of the piezo, 5 to 12 volt range, goes into the collector of the transistor. Positive of the piezo goes into the 9 volt battery. From this junction right here, you have a 200 ohm quarter watt resistor. This is the Zener regulator circuit. There's the Zener, 5 volts. There's the cathode, you have the anode, ties into ground from this point here into plus 5 volts. The voltage will be kept right around 4.8, 4.9 volts throughout the duration of the life of the battery. I checked it between 9.6 when the battery's new, all the way down to 7 volts, and I still have around 4.7 being supplied from that Zener regulator circuit into the module. Okay, I'm now going to show you how this was all put together.